All right, guys, weekly stimulus for September 4th through the 10th. Um, today was Kelly. It was a run, uh, five rounds a run, uh, 30 wall ball, 30 box jumps. Um, grinder workout. Good job for all you guys that came out and did it. Um, not an easy workout, but uh, everyone finished, so that's great. All right, tomorrow, Tuesday. So how this works is, is that we're going to do an eight-minute uh, imam of three snatches every minute on the minute. All right. You're going to rest two minutes. Okay. Then you're going to do an AMRAP of four chest to bar or regular pull ups, six burpees over the bar, and 24 double unders. You're going to go around and around and around for 11 minutes. You're then going to rest two minutes. All right. And then you're going to go right back into three snatch imam for eight minutes. All right. So it's bookended with that imam of snatches. So it's 24 reps each time you do the EMOM. And this is a nice format, especially for you guys that want to go heavy and for people that are really new at this movement, all right? You know, take the first EMOM as just, as just almost like a warm-up in a sense, okay? All right, feel good about the weights that you're doing. You shouldn't have any struggling weights at all. If that's the case, go down in weight because um, you want to hit just confident lifts there. I would also mix it up with power snatches, and squat snatches, all right? Um, and then when you get into the uh, second portion, that's where you can just continue to be consistent at certain weights, um, or you can go a little heavier. I mean, eight minutes is a long time to go ahead and get heavy, it's three reps, um, and uh, it is your choice. So AMRAP in between is something that's nice and steady, okay? Um, for you guys that you know are maybe a little bit um, new to snatch, but you're good at the other movements in the AMRAP, push a little bit harder there, uh, and then on the second round, um, go ahead and just be consistent on the barbell, all right? All right, Wednesday, all right, sea legs. So there's two versions of this, all right? It's essentially a running clock for 30 minutes, okay? All right, um, three, two, one, go. You row, if you're in a rower, 2K, all right, in 10 minutes. Time remaining is your rest, okay? Girls, you'll row 1,800, okay? Um, then you go immediately after the 10 minutes is up and you do an eight minute AMRAP, not AMRAP, but you do, you have eight minutes of time to row 1500, 1350 for the girls. You'll do the same thing for six minutes on a 1K row and 900 meters, and then four minutes to row 500 meters and 400. We also have a bike version of this as well for big classes. So this is all about just being con consistent. Um, you're, if you PR your 2K row, um, you might not get your heart rate down for the next, what, 16 minutes of work, more than that, 18 minutes of work, okay? All right, so, you know, keep that in mind, okay? Uh, that's really important for you to understand. Um, you want to have a little bit of break here, and you don't want to have your heart rate too high up. All right, the last 500 meters, or if you're on the bike, um, that should take you somewhere around two minutes-ish, a little longer, um, maybe if you're not the greatest rower, but uh, that's the end of the workout. So push hard there, okay? Um, challenge yourself on these paces too as well. This is a very good workout if you push yourself to the limit and allow yourself to get that necessary break of maybe like a minute, two minutes um, uh, rest so that you can go ahead and be consistent on the second row all right, again, if you're doing 2K and you're killing it and then you get to 1K and you're dying, that's not the way to do this workout, all right? All right, Thursday is an every five minute times six. Um, so what we have here is, is that every five minutes you have to do these four movements. You gotta run 400 meters, you have eight bench presses, you have 16 dumbbell snatches, and you have 12 box jump overs. Think of this kind of like an EMOM. All right, that you have to get an X amount of work and an X amount of time. Any time remaining here is break. We estimate that it should take you no longer than two minutes to do the row. That gives you at least a full minute to do eight bench, a full minute to do 16 snatches. If you go unbroken, it'll take you 35 seconds and 12 box jump overs, which if you go at a nice pace, it'll take you about 35 seconds. All right, so you should have a good minute break Maybe a little bit more, you fast runners, but every five minutes for six rounds, you'll do that work, okay? All right, Friday, we have four four-minute EMOMs, all right? 
you have three hang power cleans and then three strip press. You'll do that every minute on the minute for four minutes. Then you immediately go into the next four minute imam. You don't get a break in between. That is three power cleans. That means that the bar is gonna start from the floor each rep. You can do singles or touch and go. And then three push press. You'll move on to the next imam for four minutes. Three hang squat cleans, three push jerk, all right? The next four minutes, three squat cleans from the floor um, and three split jerk, okay? All right, there's no break between the imam, all right? So you're essentially gonna go ahead and do 16 minutes of, uh, um, of cleaning and jerking, sorry. All right, you'll get a two minute break, all right? So two minutes, that clock ends at 16, 18 minute mark. You'll go right into a 13 minute AMRAP of four clean and jerk with your choice of weight. All right, something that you can move efficiently, but that's not super easy where you think you can do touch and go reps. Six burpees over the bar and eight toe to bar. So you'll just am wrap around that over and over and over again. All right, Saturday, this is a weird workout. All right, so make sure you guys understand this one. All right, partner workout. So we did something similar to this last week. Athlete won for five rounds. All right, let's say it's me and my imaginary, well, let's say it's Evelyn, okay, all right? So Evelyn is at the shuttle run start line and I'm at the wall to do wall walks. Three, two, one, go. I do my three wall walks. I tell Evelyn, go. She does six shuttle runs. Then she gets done and she tells me to go and I do three more wall walks. She does six more shuttle runs. Only one person working at a time. So once I get done with my fifth, round of wall walks, I'm going to make my way over to the start line while Evelyn is doing her shuttle runs. I will then proceed to do six shuttle runs once she's done and Evelyn will do three wall walks and we'll go back and forth for five rounds. After this, you and your partner will go ahead and chip away at 250 wall ball. So if you break it in half, it's 125, 25 less if you came today. And you'll break it up any way you want. You can do sets of five, 10, 50, whatever you want. It's up to you guys, okay? But you're trying to do that as fast as possible. So, um, you know, break it up uh, how you feel comfortable so that you can get the best time. All right? All right. Sunday is Jonathan's workout. It's seven rounds for time. Seven squat jumps, seven push-ups, seven total bars, seven bike, five for the girls, seven burp, uh, burpee, seven pull-up, and seven box jumps. So obviously the theme is seven, there are seven rounds. Have fun this week, guys.